Welcome students to class 5 maths lesson 1 large numbers session 5. Before we go further let us look at the solutions of worksheet 4 which I had shared in my previous video. Question number 1 of worksheet 4 was compare the following numbers and put greater than or less than in the blanks. The first question both sides had equal number of digits. So we compare 5 and 8 since 8 is bigger. The number 898853 is greater. Next one again. It had equal number of digits. 7 digits both numbers. Here first digit 9 is same in both the numbers. Second digit 0 is also same. We look at the third digit of both the numbers that is 5 and 0. Since 5 is greater, the number 9056654 is greater. The third one, this also had equal number of digits. When we look at the first digit, we have 6 in one number and we have 7 in the other. The number that starts with 7, 7, 6, 7, 6, 7, 6, 7 is greater. Question number 2. Find the smallest and the greatest number from the following. Here both rules are applied. If you see the number of digits in each number is different. The first one has 6 digits. The second number has 5 digits. Then the third number has 6 digits again. And the fourth number again has 6 digits. So for the smallest number is going to be the number with 5 digits. So smallest is 90871. For the greatest number, we see the remaining three numbers, all of them have six digits. So we will compare the first digit of each number, six, five and seven. Since seven is the greatest out of them, the greatest number is seven, nine, three, three, seven, nine. The next question, here again we have four numbers and for the smallest, it is the number with least number of digits that is 945137 with 6 digits. Then out of the other remaining 3 we have to look for the greatest. Remaining 3 numbers all have 7 digits. So we will compare the first digit that is 7, 5 and 8. So out of them 8 is the greatest so the number 874363 is the greatest number. Arrange the following in ascending order. In this question, since all the numbers are having equal number of digits, that is 6 digits, we will look at the first digit. Now first digit if we see, we have 7, 8, 8 and 7. 2 7s and 2 8s. So both the 7s will be in the initial part for ascending order. Now then out of the 2 7s, we will compare the second digit for them. That is 3 and 5. So the number with 7, 3 will come first and the number with 7, 5 will come after that. That is the first place and the second place in our series. Then first and second is done. Now we look for the third and fourth place. Now both the numbers have 8 as their first digit. Let us compare the second digit. Both of them have 5 in the second digit. Let us compare the third digit. Both of them have 4 in the third digit. Then the fourth digit, 7, same. So, first four digits of both the numbers are same. We go to the fifth digit, that is 3 and 5. Since 3 is smaller, we will write this number, that is 854737 in the third place and 854757 in the fourth place. The next one now, in the B part, we have different number of digits in each number. The first number has 7 digits. The second number has 7 digits. The third number has 5 digits. And the fourth number has 6 digits. In ascending order, the first number will be the number with 5 digits. That is 78436. Second place will be occupied by the number with 6 digits. 784343. Now for the third place, both of the other remaining numbers have 
seven digits each. So we will compare the first digit. Five and seven. That means the number with five will be occupying the third place. Third place goes to five five nine two seven four three. And the fourth place will be occupied by seven five seven five four nine eight. Question number four. Arrange the following in descending order. We will start with the biggest number first. There are different number of digits. First number has three digits. The next number has six digits. The next number has six again. And then the last number has seven digits. So the greatest number is going to be the number with seven digits. 8873590. After that we have two numbers with six digits each. So we will compare the first digit. 8 is greater than 7. So the next greatest number is going to be 849387. After that 747289. And then the last number, the smallest number is going to be the 3 digit number 536. Next question. Here we have 7 digit number. Again followed by a 7 digit number. Then a 5 digit number. Then a 6 digit number. The greatest will be one of the 7 digit numbers. We will compare the leftmost digit. Both of them have 7. So we go to the next digit that is 3 and 9. So the number with 9 is going to be greater. That means the first place will be occupied by 7958409. The next place will be occupied by 7343947. After that, we have 5 digit and 6 digit left. So the 6 digit number will come 547975. Last number will be 65492. This brings us to the end of solutions. Now let us see the formation of greatest and the smallest numbers. Now formation of the greatest and smallest number can be done in two ways where repetition is allowed and where repetition is not allowed. Let us first an example where repetition is not allowed. Example form the greatest and the smallest number of six digit using digits 2, 1, 8, 6, 0 and 7 only once. Now we have to form a six digit number. So they have given us six different digits and they have told us repetition is not allowed. That means we have to use each and every digit given to us. The digits are 2, 1, 8, 6, 0 and 7. So first we will draw the place value chart. To form the greatest number we will first look for the greatest digit out of the given lot and put it in the lakhs place. The greatest is 8. So 8 will come in the lakhs place. After that we have 7. It will come in the 10,000 place. After that we have 6. That will come in the thousands place. After 6, next greatest number is 2. It will come in the hundreds place. And then we have 1 which comes in the tens place. And lastly we have 0 in the ones place. Now for the smallest number. Now here you have to note one thing, 0 cannot be the leftmost digit. Though 0 is the smallest digit and for the smallest we should be starting with the smallest digit. But if we take 0, we will not be able to form a 6 digit number. So we will take 1. We will start this number with 1 which is the next smallest after 0. And in the 10,000th place we will put 0 which is the smallest now. After that we have 2. 6 is the next smallest digit, so we put 6. Then out of 7 and 8, 7 is smaller, we will write 7. And then 8. This is how you will form the greatest and the smallest number. There is no problem with the greatest number, but in case there is a 0 in the given digits, we have to be careful and not place it in the leftmost place. Now we come to the example where repetition of digits is allowed. Form greatest and smallest number of 6 digits using the digits 2, 8, 6, 4 and 7. 
Here they have only given us five digits and they have allowed us to repeat any particular digit and make the greatest and the smallest six digit number. The place value chart for the greatest we will start with eight. Now we have one digit less. So to make the greatest number we will repeat the greatest digit twice here. In 10,000 place we will again put 8. Now we are left with 4 places to fill and 4 digits are left. So we will not repeat any further. The next greatest digit is 7. We will put 7 in the thousands column. After 7 we have 6. Then we have 4 in the tens column. And we have 2 left which will go in the ones column. This forms our greatest number. Then for the smallest number, the smallest digit is 2. We will start with 2. Then since we need the smallest number here, we will repeat the smallest digit 2 times. In 10,000 column, we will again write 2 followed by 4 which is the next smallest. Followed by 6. Followed by 7 and 8. This is how we will form the greatest and the smallest number where repetition is allowed. Now we have another special instance where we fix a digit in a particular place. Let's take an example to understand that. Form greatest and the smallest number of 6 digits using the digits 1, 2, 8, 6, 4 and 7 with 4 in the 10,000th place. Now we have to form the greatest and the smallest number but we have to keep in mind that we fix 4 in the 10,000th place. Okay, the place value chart for the greatest number. Now first thing we will do is they have told us 4 has to be fixed in a particular place that is 10,000. So first we will write 4 under 10,000. Now for greatest we will see the greatest digit which is 8. We will write 8 in the lakhs place. Then after 8, we have 7. Next place, 10,000 is already taken. So in the thousands place, we will write 7. Next greatest digit is 6. So 6 will go in the hundreds place. After 6 now, next greatest digit is 4. But 4 is already taken. So we will go to 2. So 2 will come in the tens place. And then 1. Now the smallest number. Again, we have to remember that 10,000th place has to be occupied by 4. So first let us place that in 10,000 column. The smallest digit is 1. We write 1 in the lakhs place. And then next comes 2. So 2 will now go to the thousands place. After that, the next greatest number is 4 which is taken. So we go to 6. 6 in the hundreds place now. Then next we have 7 in tens place. And 8 in 1's place. So this is how we will form the greatest and the smallest number by fixing a digit at a particular place. Now let us move on to a worksheet to enhance our understanding. Worksheet number 5. Question 1. Write the smallest and the greatest number using each of the following digits only once. So here you have to use all the digits and form the greatest number and the smallest number. A part 4, 5, 3, 9, 6, 2. B part 6, 8, 7, 0, 1, 4, 5. Here in the B part, please make note, I want you to give me the smallest 7 digit number. Question number 2. Write any number of 7 digits starting with 2 and ending with 5 in the 1's place. Write another number by reversing the digits. Find which of the two numbers is smaller. Your number has to start with 2 and end with 5. That is what you have to keep in mind. And then you have to form another number where you reverse the order of the digits. After that, once you have formed these two numbers, original number, reversed number, you have to then tell which is the smaller out of the two. Question number 3. By using the digits 5, 2, 4, 0 and 6, write the smallest and the greatest number of 6 digit. 
Question number 4. By using the digits 4, 3, 0, 2, 1, write the smallest and the greatest number of 7 digits. Question number 5. Write the greatest and the smallest number of 6 digits by using the digits 0, 3, 9, 1, 6, 2. Only once such that the digit 9 always appears at the hundreds place. So, here we will have to fix the hundreds place with 9 and then form the greatest and the smallest number. This brings us to the end of the worksheet. If you like this session, do give it a thumbs up. I wish you luck with the worksheet. Until we meet again, stay safe, stay happy.